God, I just wanna go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my neck. And I'm stone cold with the flex from the squad, and I'm smoking up a check. Man, I just wanna go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my neck. And I'm stone cold with the flex from the squad, and I'm smoking up a check. What is going down y'all welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube your words not mine today man today it is looking like this outside Super snowy. It's very cold. The ice on my windshield. I went to go get coffee this morning because I was out and the ice is just ridiculous on the whip. So that was a huge pain. And I got to go to work here in a little bit. It's hella early. I got up mad early for you guys so we could shoot this sneaker review before I go to work. Oh, before I get into anything else, man, happy birthday to my mom. Shout out to my mom. It's her birthday today. Love you, mom. Crazy sports weekend. Huge weekend in the NFL. Saturday was just a defensive battle. Sunday was points galore. I don't know what the Steelers were doing at home. They just looked uninspired. They just did not look ready to play. I don't know how you have a Hall of Fame quarterback and potential Hall of Fame wide receiver, potential Hall of Fame running back. You have that much talent and you just look like that in the playoffs at home. I don't get it. But shout out to the Jags and all the Jags fans. Congratulations to you guys. Moving on the AFC Championship to take on the Patriots. That's how the early game went down. Obviously the late game, some crazy fireworks. Minnesota was up 17-0, all in control. Then Drew Brees got the Saints, came marching in, came back, ended up taking the lead late, looked like they had it in the bag, and then Keenum to Stephon Diggs down the sidelines, Marcus Williams, what were you doing? As my man Vitzer said, you tapped the hit stick too hard and just whiffed, I mean, whiffed badly. And Diggs went to the house. You guys know the rest, man. Crazy ending to that game. Also, while we're on the subject of Marcus Williams, man, I said this on Twitter yesterday. Yes, it was a terrible play. It was a bad play. I don't know what you were doing, to be dead honest with you. I think maybe he was trying to avoid the penalty by not lighting the dude up and getting hit in the defenseless receiver. But then, I don't know, man. You gotta corral him, just pull him out of bounds, do something. But all that being said, there is never, ever, ever any need for anyone to go blow up this dude's social media, talking all kinds of shit, saying stuff about his family, death threats, all that. That is so unnecessary, man. That is the dumbest stuff I've ever heard in my life. When people are that petty and they go do that kind of shit. This dude's human. This is someone that these people were rooting for minutes before that happened. And then all of a sudden you just turn your back on him like that. You just turn your back and say a bunch of cowardice shit behind the internet. It just really gets under my skin and it really annoys me because I don't think anybody deserves that. You don't think he feels bad enough. You don't think he realizes he messed up. You don't think he has to live with that feeling in his stomach for the rest of the off season until they kick off next September. Come on, man. That shit just isn't cool. If that's you, put your emotions to the side. Think about the guy as a human being. Like, obviously it was a bad play, but he knows he messed up. There's no real need for all the extra nonsense and trashing on his social media. It's just... It's sad. It really is sad. The dude just messed up. He made a bad play. It is what it is, man. If you've ever played sports, you know how it goes. We've all messed up on the court, on the field, whatever sport you play. In an individual sport, it's a lot easier. You're only really letting yourself down. In a team sport, man, you're letting your team down. You're letting that whole fan base down. It's a lot tougher to stomach. But anyone that's just going on his social media pages just blasting the dude, it's sad and unnecessary. But anyway, that's going to set up the Eagles versus the Vikings in the NFC Championship. The Eagles had their own battle going on on Saturday night. Came down to the last play on a fourth and goal. Julio Jones fell down, got back up. Matt Ryan kind of threw it too hard or something. I don't know. It just went right through Julio's hand. Couldn't capitalize. Fly, Eagles, fly. They got that dub as well. So championship weekend next Sunday should be a lot of fun, man. NFL season's winding down. I honestly don't know who I'm going for. I was pulling for the Saints, man. I would like to see Breeze get one more before he goes out. But now with the Vikings doing it the way they did, and that's City so electric man and being able to play in front of their home crowd I didn't really want to see that happen but now for some reason I'm flipping around like I can't control it I kind of do want to see the Vikings do well has been such a good fan base for so long they've never won a Super Bowl to be able to have a chance to play in your home stadium be the first NFL team to play a Super Bowl at home that would just be wild I like seeing history so I think that's the direction I'm pulling man but they're gonna have to go out to that hostile environment that is Philly battle Nick Foles and the Eagles next Sunday is just gonna be a blast I can't wait for it anyway before before we get into the sneaker review, I have a lot of people asking me like on Snapchat and all over the place on the vlog when I wear this coat, where'd you get that jacket at man, where'd you get that bomber at? This bomber came from the Macy's clearance rack. I think I got it for like 26 bucks or something like that on clearance. So I apologize everybody that wants it, man. Maybe we'll try to come out with our own. Maybe when I drop my merch, man, we'll come out with our own bombers like this and we'll do something like that because everybody's been blowing me up about this bomber. So we need to make that happen for you guys. But here, let me set the camera down and show you the rest because I have been getting a lot of questions about the rest of the fit. All right, so like I said, the bomber, I don't have a link on it. I don't have any description on it. So let's take that off. But the good news, this shirt right here, I've been getting a lot of people asking me where I got this joint. It's got the zips on the side, it's drop tail. 
got a hood. It is not long sleeve, it's short sleeve, but it's still really, really dope to wear under a jacket. So this joint right here, I'll link it in the description below. You can cop it on Amazon. It was not expensive. Definitely one of the illest pickups I've had this year as far as just a steal. For what it costs and what you get stylistically, the quality is dope. I'll link that in the description below. And then lastly, these Army joggers. I've been getting a lot of people asking about these. I will also link those in the description below. And these are the Trace Olive Ultra Boost. So there you go. You guys have been asking me to do more fashion stuff on the channel. So I think we're going to move in that direction, man. I'm going to do more stuff. Just putting fits together. Just getting things off Amazon. I'm going to buy stuff. I'm going to be the guinea pig. I'm going to buy stuff and try it out. See what the quality's like. See how the fit is. And that way I can recommend it to you guys. And everything will be in the description in this video and in future videos for the Amazon links. So anything that I'm rocking on there, anything I show you, you'll be able to just cop on there. Super easy. Super simple. What else? Oh, house tour. A bunch of people are like, yo, we need to see the house tour. The house is not put together yet, man. I'm still moving in. My house is still a wreck. There's there's no house tour going down right now. There will be a house tour once I get everything put together, but it's still just not popping the way I want yet. So we're gonna put that on the back burner for a minute. But now that all that's out the way, let's turn this chair around, let's jump into the sneaker review. You guys wanted more consistent content, that's what I'm here to give you. Some days it'll be vlogs, some days it'll be reviews, some days it'll just be us chopping it up, I mean it just depends. But first things first, before we get into the shoe, the backpack. A lot of you fools have been hitting me up like, yo when's the backpack giveaway coming, when's the backpack giveaway coming? I'm waiting for one more thing to come in, man. I'm trying to fill the backpack with a bunch of cool shit, so I'm waiting for one more thing to come in before I can do the backpack. I I will show you all the stuff that's in the backpack on the next vlog because hopefully all the stuff will be here by then and then we'll go ahead and do the backpack giveaway. I'll show you guys what's inside and we'll do the giveaway. So thank you guys for being patient. I'm just trying to give the winner some really cool stuff. Now let's take a look at some shoes. This right here is a pair of shoes that I've had for a hot minute and I absolutely love this pair, man. I got this pair probably in like October maybe. I was still living in my aunt's crib and you guys probably saw them on Snapchat. I think I even posted them on the gram, but this is just a fire fire pair of shoes and it is a Nike Vapor Max size 13. I had to go a whole size up on these so if you cop these I would recommend a whole size up. That's just the way they fit me. You might be able to get away with a half size up. They don't make half size after 12 so I had to go to a 13 instead of a 12. So there's the box label for you. What's the retail price in these? 175 so these are $15 cheaper than a normal Vapor Max at 190 Some of you guys that might not be familiar, let me show you what we're talking about here. And the Vapor Max are by far the hardest shoe to spin. Bang, there we are, man. Oh, that was so lucky. One shot, one kill, what's the deal? It's just a hard shoe to spin. I mean, those pods on the bottom definitely don't make it easy. There we are, look around the shoe. This is the Vapor Max CS in the Volcano colorway. This shoe is not a very hype shoe. Uh, in my opinion, super, super slept on. Like the colorway is just ridiculous. This bright, fierce orange, then you got the lava orange down here with the maroon bleeding in. I mean, this whole thing is just ill to me. This is definitely, this is one of my favorite pickups of 2017 and it's a non-hyped, just basic shoe. You could probably walk into Finish Line and cop these. That's what I did. I got these at Finish Line. Shout out to the homie Mike over there, man. I was very attracted to them because of the brightness and I really love the bright outsole. The bright AirPods right here just seal the deal for me. Once I tried them on, it was just love, man. It was just love. The way these look on feet are so sick and I think it's because of this tongue. The tongue on the Vapor Max CS just makes such such a difference over the Flyknit version. That sock liner on the Flyknit, I don't know, it's just very hard to make them look good. The only way you can really make them look good is if you're wearing joggers or shorts, and then they almost still look like a little bit of a hiking boot. I don't know, I don't know, man. Something about the Flyknit Vapor Max just doesn't do it for me. The Vapor Max CS is fire. This shoe is so lightweight. This shoe looks good with jeans, it looks good with joggers, it looks dope with shorts. Honestly, this almost reminds me of a soccer cleat mixed with like an Odell Beckham Jr. wide receiver cleat. You know what I mean? Like a David Beckham and an Odell Beckham. You know what I mean? Just a couple Beckhams. That's what this reminds me of right here, man. It's just a super fly shoe, man. Very, very slept on. I'm not sure if they're sitting under retail or you can probably just go into a store and grab them. But in my opinion, like I said, man, just one of my favorite shoes I picked up in 2017. As far as the fit goes on the shoe, like I said, they do run small. I had to go with a 13 instead of a 12. The toe box here, as you can see, it's like this engineered mesh, but it's like super, super, super soft. I don't really care that it's not Flyknit. I'm not a Flyknit snob. I know there's a lot of people that will hate on this shoe because it's not Flyknit. To be honest, I think the Flyknit looks like crap, especially the upper, like the sock collared. You're just very, very limited with that shoe. And I have a black Flyknit pair. Actually, let me go grab them. Let me go grab them joints. 
All right, man, look, we're back with this dad shoe looking Vapor Max. No, I'm just playing. It's not a dad shoe, but I don't know, dog. It's just not, it's not doing it for me. All right, number one, the laces on this Flyknit Vapor Max are so, so long, like stupid long. Number two, this tongue is not long. This tongue is very short and it just kind of sits in there and it's just very hard to make this pair look good with jeans. This sock collar, compared to this, like this is not for steez. This is for performance. If you're running in these, but I, I went for a run in these, actually, I've, I've ran a couple times in these and these are fire. By far, the Vapor Max, hands down, whether it's the Flyknit version or this version, the CS, best running shoe out. Killing Ultra Boost. I know the people that like Boost are not gonna like that, but it is a better running shoe. If you run and you've worn both shoes, then you know Vapor Max is a better running shoe. Ultra Boost is a great shoe for standing. Vapor Max, not as much. If you're doing a lot of walking, you're doing a lot of standing, Ultra Boost is the way to go. If I'm walking around Vegas, I'm wearing an Ultra Boost every day. You know, if I'm walking around the flea market, if I'm walking around the mall, whatever you're doing, if you're walking, Ultra Boost. If you're running, Vapor Max is the way to go. Vapor Max is shitting on Ultra Boost as far as running goes. That's my opinion. I've run in both of them. I've walked in both of them. I've stood in both of them. That's just my opinion on it. But as far as the comparison between the Flyknit Vapor Max and the Vapor Max CS, not only is this colorway more fire than any colorway they've come out with in a Flyknit Vapor Max, but just the look, man. Stylistically, like I said, this just is not doing it for me. And honestly, if you guys, if somebody wants to take these off my hands, offer me a decent price and I'll take it. I mean, don't offer me anything stupid, but if you want this pair, man, I've worn them maybe three times, if that. They're super clean, still say Vapor Max on the inside, nothing's worn off. I mean, bottom is, outsole is just crispy. It's all, it's all crispy. But if somebody wants these, man, take them off my hands because I don't want them. But these ones right here, I can't even tell you how much, actually, I think I've already told you how much I love this shoe. How much, I mean, I've expressed my love for this shoe. The colorway, the silhouette, super fire. I don't think I'll ever again buy a Flyknit Vapor Max. It's just not for me. I will always go with a Vapor Max CS. This is what the Vapor Max should have been, in my opinion. This is what they should have come out with first. I, I really, really love this shoe. I don't know why it's 15 bucks cheaper. I know when I did post these, on Instagram or I don't remember where I, I posted them. Someone was like, I wouldn't try those on in the mall and they were cheap, whatever. You know what I mean? Everyone has their own opinion. I don't think they're cheap. Yeah, they're kind of like plasticky right here, but I think that's kind of why I like them. It just takes me back to like football. Like I said, I mean, these remind me of kind of like a low top wide receiver football cleat or like a soccer cleat, man. Put on your boots. Let's hit the pitch. That's what this reminds me of. As an athlete playing sports growing up, I just like that look. Maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe you guys think these are super ugly or they're just not your style, which is cool. So moving along the sides, like I said, this is kind of like a plastic, um, material. I don't really know what this is made out of, but it's very, very lightweight. The whole shoe is very, very lightweight. The tongue, it's an actual regular tongue. It's not that like half weird Flyknit Vapor Max tongue. The inside of the shoe is so soft. I mean, even this mesh is very, very soft. It's breathable. You can move your toes in it. It's not restrictive at all. I love the little blacked out Nike check right there. That's just a dope detail to me. For some reason, I just like that up top. You got your big Nike hit on the outside. You got your little Nike hit on the back quarter panel there. Moving inside the shoe, you've got the Vapor Max branding with the Nike logo. Insole on these is removable. And again, it's almost like a sports like insole. Like it's just a really, really deep heel cup. Like your foot sits down in there very, very deep. It's just very form fitting to your foot. It just fits your foot really, really nicely in this one. As far as the comfort of the shoe goes, like I said, I mean, it's a great running shoe. It's not a bad shoe if you're just wearing it all day. It's not ultra boost comfort. It's not the most comfortable shoe in the world. It's not going to blow your mind in comfort, but it's a great looking shoe and the comfort's not bad. It's just like a standard shoe. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like a Jordan six where it's killing your feet, but it's not going to be an ultra boost. You know, it's just, it's just like a fly knit Vapor Max. Same as a fly knit Vapor Max. The walk Walking around is good. The standing factor is okay. The running factor is tremendous. But overall, for me, this is definitely a must cop. Wait till you guys see these on feet. Moving on to the laces. They're just a flat black lace. They are perfect length, I think, if you like to rock the shoe kind of like that. Obviously, I don't run in them like that, but that's just stylistically how I rock them. They don't come with any extra pair of laces, just the one pair, flat black. On the tongue, you've got the Vapor Max branding and then the Nike branding, and those are both accented in the fierce orange color as well. As far as the outsole goes, exact same outsole as your Flyknit Vapor Max. Same exact thing. No change there, except this one has the bright orange on it, which is just super, super sick to me. I think, I think that part just sets the shoe off. Actually, funny thing about these shoes, I didn't even know these existed until when I was working my old job, a dude came in, man, I forgot your name, I'm sorry, but a dude came in rocking these, man, and me and the homie Josh were like, whoa, wait, what is that? What are those, bro? And he's like, oh man, it's kind of a 
finish line. Da, da, da. And I was like, what? Right when I got off work, I went over there and I copped these, man. So big shout out to that gentleman that came in for inspiring me. And for me, that's how I buy sneakers, man. If I just see something that looks dope to me and I like, I, I just, I want it. I want to cop it. If I put something on and it just feels right and it looks dope on me, I want to cop it. You guys know I've never been about the hype. You guys know I've always been about what I like, man. That's what gets me excited and that's what got me into sneakers and that's why I'm still into sneakers, man. I'm not into sneakers because the internet said to like this and to like that. I mean, that's just not the kind of guy I am. And I know that probably strays some people away from the channel. Anyways, that is about all on this pair. These are the Nike Vapor Max CS in the Volcano colorway. I really encourage you guys to go try a pair on. Next time you're in a shoe store, if you're buying some shoes and they got Vapor Max CS, I definitely recommend trying them on, man. They're just, it's a very underrated shoe in my opinion. And this really has brought out my love for Vapor Max. If it was just the fly net ones and they never would have came out with this style i wouldn't be really a big fan of vapor max i wouldn't even be a fan of vapor max at all so i'm so happy nike did this i'm so happy they came out with this style as always man thank you guys for watching thanks for supporting everything i do huge shout out to everybody that's using my amazon links down in the description of every video there's links to different jeans joggers shirts hoodies all kinds of stuff that i rock but even if you don't want to buy that stuff if you just click through my amazon link and then do your normal amazon shopping it really helps out the channel they'll kick a little bit back to me with which helps me get sneakers and helps me do cool stuff for you guys. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You don't have to do anything extra other than just click through that link. So when you click through that link, just bookmark it and then use that every time you go on Amazon and it'll really help out the channel, man. A lot of people ask how they can support. That's how you can support the channel. Just shop on Amazon as you normally do and click through my link. Other than that, man, we're off to a fire start for 2018. I love the shit out of y'all and I will see you fools tomorrow. Going through my phone like it's evidence. Baby, tell me why your frown is so prevalent. Got your friends running secret service on me. Know the whip's blacked out, but I'm far from the president. Found you and thought I lucked out. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm feeling like I'm out of luck. Used to care about your past till you act like I'm the one that did it to you. Now I'm feeling like I'm out of fucks. Blowing up my phone, saying where you at? On my way home, girl, get off my back. Come on. Trying to grow this money, make the least stack. You're trying to kill her with your tears salty from the past. Oh. And I know they did you wrong, wrong, wrong. So wrong. But you gotta move on, on, on. Move on. I'm not them, can't write those wrongs. Never left it in the past, now right now. Girl, I'm not the one that broke your heart. I'm the one that tried to fix it up for you. But now my fingerprints on that, and you treat me like a criminal. Why you make